All right, can you make food at home and sell it in Florida? And does Florida have a cottage food law? And yes, they actually do. In this video, I'm gonna give a really quick update to 2022's Florida cottage food laws and what had got the thumbs up and what got the thumbs down. And that's gonna affect you greatly when you start to sell food from your home in Florida. And these are gonna be updates I'm gonna go over right now. All right, guys, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. So it's Damien Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. And in this video, I wanted to cover some updates to Florida's cottage food law in 2022. There is a lot of great information that is out there I have a lot of access to, and I want to share that with you guys, our viewers. And if you're looking to create a home-based food business in Florida under their cottage food law, they have a really, really fantastic actual existing cottage food law that's already on the books, but they had some new laws and new legislation they were trying to get passed I'm going to cover that in one second. So if you're not familiar, they actually have, in, in Florida, you don't need a license. You don't have an inspection or training from the Department of Agriculture at all. Producers can actually make and sell, as far as the dollar amount, up to $250,000 from your home. And it's very, very simple to do. Uh, Florida has one of the most laxed and easy laws in regards to cottage food. They even have um, some of the venues you can sell online, you can sell at roadside stands. Um, home, you can sell at farmers markets and local events. Um, their online business though, you have to have it delivered within the state. You can't unfortunately ship it interstate sales. That's one thing they haven't approved just yet. But you have a lot of opportunities open to you from um, the cottage food law in Florida. Now, let me go over and show you. I got an email from a contact I've got in regards to updates about the cottage food industry. And he had mentioned, hey Damien, just to let you know, the HB 707 law this was the micro restaurant bill. What does that mean, Damien? Well, they actually were trying to create a law that would allow you to create a restaurant type of, of food service literally from your home. If you wanted to make meals, pizzas, hamburgers, hot dogs, cook literally food like a restaurant would, they were gonna allow you to do it from home. Um, and that law uh, under the, it would be called the Home Kitchen Operations Law, did not get enough votes to get passed. So it started back in November 2021. The law was going to be passed through legislation. Everyone voted, unfortunately, due to the fact that they did not want people to sell those types of perishable foods from their home. So unfortunately, that is some upsetting news for people who had anticipated this that would have literally allowed you to transform your home kitchen and have it delivered. You have food delivered, lunches and things to people at home, uh, go to the workplace, anywhere locally within your area, you could have actually started a restaurant from your house. This is a great idea and a concept. I think that would go over well if they just had a simple formatted training process like you do at a restaurant and have those cottage food operators or local home businesses go through that process and collect sales tax, operate like a business, have expenses and that type of thing. It would be a great idea. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Now, with that being said though, there are literally dozens of types of foods from that you can already make from cakes and muffins, tortillas and cookies and brownies, fudge, candies and chocolates, herbs, spice mixes, pastas, tea, coffee, I mean, dried fruit. There is literally a list, Florida has one of the largest lists of non-perishable uh, foods that you can make. Of course, they do have some prohibited items like salsas, uh, fermented foods, sauces, low acid canned foods, oils, uh, meat jerkies and pet food. These are some things that aren't necessarily covered under cottage food. Um, but the list for what you can make is still very, very large. But unfortunately, the downside is that that bill did not get passed. So I'll keep it short and sweet and simple. Uh, I want you guys in Florida, all of my viewers, to know that um, they did have a law. And if you want it passed, you should let your congressman and senator, let them know about that. Um, give them a heads up and email them and say, hey, we're really interested in getting this passed. It would give us an opportunity to create a business at home selling this type of food. So if this video was helpful, do give me a big thumbs up. If you have questions about Florida's cottage food laws or their new updates to the bills down below, let us know. Um, you might want to also check out these videos here. These are some other great videos for um, cottage food operators that will give you some additional resources. All right, and you take care.